stop making the other person too important. So Vince talked about this. And this is this thing that Andy was talking about he'd had some success with. And other persons know it's not important. The people we tend to make important are people we have an attraction to, people that are the cultural ideal and that they look, look, talk, and squawk and dress the way we've been sold that they should. We tend to make them too important. We tend to make people too important if they, uh, those are the main reasons. And we tend to, until we really get a hold of ourselves, we make anybody's no too important. So one of the big dating skills is realizing that other people are just people and I'm not putting them on a pedestal for something superficial that I know nothing about this person. Now maybe we want to put the Dalai Lama on a pedestal Maybe he belongs there. I have no idea what he's like as a human being. But someone that were, is out in the dating world, watch yourself and your tendency to make people of a certain age more important, less important, people who dress a certain way more important, less important, people who are in a certain club, who like certain things more important, less important. They have hip opinions, so they're more important than people who don't have hip op opinions and watch how you lose your own power around them. Okay? The most important thing about that sentence is I lose my power around them. I hand it over to them. Okay? Suddenly they're more important than me. Their opinion of me is more important than my own opinion of myself. This is the biggest thing I learned. One of the biggest things I learned. No, my opinion of me is more important than anyone else's opinion. I will take feedback from trusted people that, who I ask for opinion, and I often hire people to give me feedback and so forth, often. But I'm not going to take it from people I don't know, people who have weird agendas, whatever, people who may or may not want to date me because there's no, they haven't earned the right. So this is a, a way that you work on yourself through dating is you start noticing in every text, we're going to get into te texting skills in a minute, in every conversation in a bar or on a hike, when did I hand my power over to this person? At what moment did I hand my power over? At what moment did I make their opinion more important than my own? At what p a moment did I decide that they get the power to decide if I'm attractive or not. Okay? It's fascinating. You see you've been doing it all your life and you've been conditioned to do it. And to really, uh, this is a skill you take into your life with you. This isn't just for dating. Greg and I were talking earlier about most dating skills in the conventional world are dating skills you learn so that you never have to do them again. But skills like this are, are skills that will enhance your entire life because you'll notice how often we have been trained to hand our power over, make other people important for absolutely superficial reasons. There are people, in my opinion, who belong on a pedestal, but they've earned it through saintly behavior, givingness, and so forth. But not some guy just because he happened to be born looking like it's currently in fashion to look. And I used to hand my power over to these people all the time. I used to see a, a guy who met the cultural deal and go, that's the one I want. It's like, that person could be abusive. But we've been taught to want that person, put them on a pedestal, lose our power and grovel to try to get them. It's not working. <laughs>